In this video, I will be adding colors and details to a rough sketch. As I am not an artist, I do not have a digital drawing board, hence I will get a sketch from the internet. I am looking for an object, and this bicycle looks good. This image is too small, I can upscale it, like I did in the previous video. But let me check a few more. I can search for similar sketch from this option, and I got similar images. I can cut the edges, then this sketch should work. Inside the Krita, I will load a canvas. I have an update, but you need to see this. These are some of the packages we need to install. I am using Stable Diffusion 1.5, so I will install from here. You can do it for Stable Diffusion XL models as well. Control nets are available for both the types of models. For Flux models I have not used yet. I tried, but it didn't work. I will make a separate video for using Flux models later. For this video we need this line art only, but I will check all the boxes because I will be making a video in the future. After installation, I brought the sketch on the canvas. I got this option automatically and I chose to insert the image as a new layer. The layers section should be present here, unless you have removed it. To get that section back, Click here and then click this big underscore paint. I will remove all the unwanted options. First layer is the sketch, then the paint and background, those are by default. The AI image section went missing. I get them back from Docker, then check this AI image generator. I got the image generation options. I will use this move tool and bring the sketch in the center. For the style, I am using digital artwork. The checkpoint is the dream shaper. Style prompts are digital artwork and some high resolution worlds. This option on the right says Add Control Net. When I click, get a few more options. And the first one is the names we saw while installing Control Net. Scribble is selected by default, but I will be using line art in this example. This controls the strength of the Control Net. What happens here is, in the process of image generation, the Control Net will get information from the reference sketch and control the image generation process to form a similar looking object as in the sketch. Increasing this will give an image more towards the sketch, which may also include the strokes made by the pencil. I will click Generate without any prompt. And we got a digital art style bicycle. Now you saw, Without any prompt the AI generated a similar object because the control net affected the image generation process. I wrote a prompt, a bicycle near the wall. Adding more information like bicycle will help AI to add elements of bicycle into the image. You can see, the AI can make this object more of a bicycle now. I then added more words like bicycle on the street, and the street was built around the object from the sketch. If I increase the line art strength, it sticks with the sketch. Hope you understood about this control net line art, which can influence the image generator to make an image similar to the sketch. I will try again with this sketch of a car. I added the sketch. To keep things clean, I unlocked and removed the layer which is not in use. Removing the bicycle layer turned off the control net. Just make sure to keep it on. 
Without any prompt, let's generate. Not a clean result, but the red and white with yellow looks good. I think we need to add some information so the AI can give some serious results. My prompt includes words like sports car, on streets, view from behind. And the result after adding more information looks better. You can definitely add information like the color of car or the type of paint. I took one more sketch and this looks like the Jaguar concept. This sketch needs a small paint job because there is something written below. So, I added a new layer. You see this is just a plain layer. From the top options, I will bring the color palette. I will select a white color, and then a brush. Paint the text. The remaining looks good. Now having all the layers active, I will right-click the top and select the option New Layer from the visible. This new layer has all the information we saw in the multiple layers. My prompt will be an electric sports car from the future. I noticed just now, layers can be selected from here. The result looks amazing to me. You can try changing the strength of the control net. You can also decrease the AI generation strength and activate the refiner. The refiner will add details to the sketch using line art. Refiner can also make it a complete sketch with colors. I will try using this sketch and refine it to make a complete sketch. In Krita, if I refine this sketch at 60%, this is the result, based on the previous prompt, an electric car from the future. If I refine at 40%, this is the result, the sketch gets more details at 40% like a real sketch. At 60%, it becomes muscular. At 80 the car got changed. Okay. The line art is not active. I forgot after I removed the layer. Using line art, you see how the result sticks to the sketch and gives you a colorful version of the sketch. The previous result was just a refined sketch when we increased the strength. The AI took over the car's design and made it different. The AI had the information about the car due to the sketch on the canvas. However, AI will not stick with the sketch. You will need a control net so the AI stays within the boundaries set by the control net. People who are not good with free hand sketching, like me. If your sketch is bad, then try the scribble control net. It does not follow the lines strictly as line art. Hope this video was helpful.